Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let us welcome the graduating class of 2023 at Blanche Ely High School.
graduates, please be seated. Buenas tardes, damas y caballeros. Soy Christopher Taveras. De parte de la clase del 2023, le, bien, le bienvenido a nuestra graduación y la ceremonia. Gracias para, por darme el honor uh, para presentar esta ocasión muy especial. Gracias. Bonsoir, Messie Akmida. Moi, c'est Miloura Oktama. Dans nos classes 2023, nous accueillons nos graduations cérémonies. Nous. Merci parce que vous honorez nous avec présence sur une very spe spéciale occasion. Ça. Merci. Good evening. My name is Linda Lopez, Blanche Ely's High School intern principal. We desire that our graduation ceremony be one of honor, respect, and dignity. During the commencement exercise, we ask that everyone remain respectful throughout the entire ceremony. We ask that you remain seated when using cameras to take pictures so that the viewing rights of others are not compromised. Our school has hired a professional photographer who will photograph each graduate after he or she crosses the stage. The pictures will be available for you to purchase. While polite applause is always appreciated, please refrain from whistling, cheering, shouting, or using any noise-making apparatus disrespect during the graduation exercises. To provide each graduate an equal opportunity to be seen, we ask the audience to remain seated during the route students will take to return to their seats after the graduation roll call. After the ceremony, parents are asked to exit the auditorium and wait for their graduates in the courtyard. Graduates will be dismissed from the auditorium to go to the location to receive their diplomas and join their families in the courtyard. Thank you. At this time, please welcome JROTC cadet Jim Lynn Yule Saint and senior class president Alexia Lassen to the podium. Good afternoon, friends, family, and distinguished guests. My name is Jim Lynn Yosain, and I am the battalion commander. At this time, I would like to ask the audience to please join me and my fellow graduates for today's presentation of colors by the Blanche Lee High School Army Color Guard under the command of Sergeant Major Stewart. Today's color guard will be commanded by Major Medina Germain, our front sentinel, Lieutenant Colonel Annabelle Leon. Carrying the American flag is Cadet Sergeant Major Medina. Germain. Holding the state flag is Sergeant Vianney Escado. Our revered Blanche Ely High School flag is carried by Cadet Staff Sergeant Patrick Katanga. And finally, our real sentinel is carried by Cadet Sergeant Andy Dorr. At this time, please stand, direct your attention to the front of the stage for the presentation of colors, Pledge of Allegiance, and remain standing for the national anthem sung by Talisha Collins and lift every voice and sing by Faith Axius.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the past Please be seated. Thank you to our JROTC for the presentation of colors and to Alicia and Faith for the musical presentation. We now welcome student government president Josias Pierre to the podium. Good afternoon, parents, educators, and 2023 graduates. I am Josias Pierre, Jr. Today, I have the honor of introducing a man who works diligently and goes above and beyond for his students. This individual became the principal of Blanche Ely High School in July 2022. His philosophy is that all children and all people can learn and achieve with the right support and that our biggest challenge is not other people, but rather mastering ourselves. He is a proud Tiger alumni from the class of 2007 and a 2012 graduate 
of Florida Agriculture and Mechan Agricultural and Mechanical University and holds a master's degree from FAU where he is now pursuing a doctoral degree. He is a proud board member of the FAMU Alumni Association Leadership and Legacy Chapter, Broward and National Alliance of Black School Educators, and the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. I had the honor of meeting him this school year as the student government president. Prior to this, he was my older sister Lucena's math teacher. He has connected me to endless opportunities and has motivated me to become the successful student I am today. He constantly reminds me of the importance of my role in this school with my official positions and influence. This school year, he has led multiple service projects, hosted many school-wide activities, and spoken at many events. He is truly resetting the Blanche Ely culture. Under his leadership, Blanche Ely has scored the highest in the district on the Algebra I Winter Fast Assessment, won first and second place in the SECME Engineering Competition, and has been named a College Board nationally, nationally Distinguished School for providing female students with computer science opportunities, just to name a few. Additionally, the Mighty Tiger Band has scored straight superiors at the 2023 MPA. The football team had an undefeated regular season going 10-0 and in our district champions. Also, the girls' basketball and boys' soccer teams have won the district championship in their respective divisions. He has even gone the extra mile to revive Blanche Ely High School's baseball team, varsity baseball team. Lastly, with his oversight, the big gym in several parts of the school campus has been renovated. Ely has gotten a new look and a big environmental change. In the coming school year, 2023, to 10, 2024, under his guidance, Blanche Ely will erect a new firefighter academy and add Cambridge AICE and pre-AICE advanced academic coursework opportunities. It is my honor to introduce to you Blanche Ely and the Demu Men of Excellence's very own Mr. Tavares Williams. All right, now. All right. Thank you, Josias, for that introduction. My Demo brother, who I honor and whom I respect. Josias, as you heard, is our student government president, but he also is president of Mentoring Tomorrow's Leaders under the leadership of Ms. McGirt, president of the Ademo Men of Excellence Club under the leadership of Mr. Sherilis. He is a 2023 Broward County Public Schools Outstanding Senior Leader, Pompano Exchange Club Student of the Month, he maintains an academic grade point average of 4.8. And he will be attending the Nova Southeastern University to major in finance as a part of the H. Wayne Hazinga College of Business and Entrepreneurship in a three-in-one master's program. But let me tell you who Josias really is. Josias is ahead of his time, a young visionary who is truly our ancestors' wildest dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, please give another round of applause for whom we call at BEHS, Barack Obama Jr. Good afternoon, parents and distinguished guests. It brings me great honor and privilege to bring you greetings as the proud principal of the Blanche Ely High School class of 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce you to our distinguished platform guests here on stage with us this afternoon. Guests, if you would please stand and be recognized once your name is called. To my immediate right, school board member, District 7, Broward County Public Schools, Ms. Nora Rupert. <laughs> North Regional Superintendent, Teaching and Learning Division, Broward County Public Schools, Dr. Jermaine Fleming. Chief of Staff, Broward County Public Schools, Dr. Valerie Wanza. <laughs> Director of Teaching and Learning for the North Region, Broward County Public Schools, Mr. Todd LaPace. 
our 12th grade counselor, your counselor, and school counseling director, Blanchile High School, Ms. Suzette Wright. The one and only teacher of academic support and student government advisor at Blanchile High School, Ms. Connie McGirt. And of course, our interim superintendent who could not be with us here today, Dr. Erling C. Smiley, interim superintendent, Broward County Public Schools, and former principal of Blanchile High School, 1994 through 2000. Mr. Josias Pierre, Jr., Student Government Association president, please stand. Ms. Alexia Lassen, senior class president. Those wonderful voices you heard from Ms. Faith Asius and Talicia Collins, both from the class of 2023. Ms. Jemlyn Olsaint, class of 2023, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> class of 23, your salutatorian, Ms. Azalea Wichert. <laughs> and your valedictorian, Ms. Ariana McKenzie. <laughs> and I, could, I would be remiss if I didn't introduce my distinguished team. Ninth grade assistant principal, Ms. Saglinda Stavern. 10th grade assistant principal and interim principal, Ms. Linda Lopez. 11th grade assistant principal and interim principal, Ms. Safia Scott. And 12th grade assistant principal and your class of 2023 administrator, Mr. Malcolm Spence. At this time, I also want to take a point of privilege to recognize our city commissioner for the city of Pompano Beach, Ms. Beverly Perkins, if you're in the building, if you could please stand and be recognized, along with Mr. Rex Harden, mayor for the city of Pompano Beach. I also want to give a special thanks to our school resource officers, Deputy Travis Allen and Tiffany Osborne, as well as any representatives of the Pompano Beach branch of the Broward Sheriff's Office that are here supporting us tonight. Class of 2023. A step in your life's journey culminates today, and I'm proud to share it with you. A famous novelist once said, we never remember days, only moments. Selfishly, this is one moment I will always remember. This being my first address to my first graduating class at a school I once learned in the classrooms at, at the historic Blanche Ely High School. <laughs> and where I met many of you again, having been your assistant principal, and now your principal. Today is more than just a graduation. Today is the day you all become a part of a legacy in history, rich in tradition and exuded in pride that dates back to Mrs. Blanche General Ely, teaching youth in Broward County Schools in the early 20th century. Located in Pompano Beach, Blanche Ely High School is named after Mrs. Blanche G. Ely, former principal and social activist. Born in Reddick, Florida, Mrs. Blanche Ely earned a Bachelor's of Arts degree from Florida A&M University. She then went on to earn a Master of Education from Columbia University in New York, a school of the Ivy League. She also held a Bachelor's Degree in Life Instruction and a Bachelor of Science Degree from Florida A&M and Benedict College, as well as a Master's in Administration and Supervision from Columbia. In 1923, Blanche Ely was named principal of what was then called the Pompano Colored School. When the wood frame school was destroyed in a hurricane, a new school was constructed on the south side of the Northwest 6th Street in Pompano. The 11th grade was added, and through Principal Ely's efforts, students completing the grade were prepared to proceed directly to colleges. As an educational leader, she faced many challenges because black students attended school only six months out of the year, from June to late December, until as late as 1951. The Florida State Constitution, the State Department of Public Instruction, and the Broward School District legally closed the school yearly for African-American children to go to Farm Corps. At the time, the town's economy consisted of mainly agriculture, domestic services, fishing, and tourism. The students worked part and full time on the farms. And in 1954, after the high school was built in Northwest Pompano, where we stand today, graduates and others fought successfully to have the school renamed Blanche Ely High School in her honor. As an educator, she emphasized academic programs and nourished young teachers and administrators to continue her work. In 1970, the Broward County School Board phased out Blanche Ely High School. Principal Ely and Parent Teacher Association parents filed a lawsuit against the board. The case went to the appellate and U.S. Supreme Courts and Blanche Ely High School reopened in 1975. 
She has initiated and implemented four schools, recommended names for schools and principals, Pompano Migrant School, aka Golden Acres, school where my grandmother once attended, Coleman Elementary School, Markham Elementary School, and Sanders Park Elementary School. She built an educational mecca here in Broward County. Now through you and those before who have gone out to make their claim in this world, her name and legacy live on. And that legacy and this moment connects us all together forever in this moment. Today is more than just a graduation. Today is officially the first day of the rest of your life. Understand deeply that this journey is just that, a journey. Always focus on the journey because the journey is always bigger than the giant. And along the way, there are many people who helped you arrive here in this moment. Our faculty and staff of our historic institution have planned and prepared to provide you with the academic tools necessary to earn this recognition. Just as the always loving, caring, and deeply committed Blanche Ely faculty have done at this historic institution since its inception. Will the faculty and staff of Blanche Ely High School please rise at this time and be recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them all a round of applause. All faculty and staff in Blanche Ely. Yet before Blanche Ely High School, you were somebody, you still are, and you always will be. And there are those who arguably know you the best. They have been there for triumphs and disasters alike, days of joy and days of pain. And whether or not you got it right or you got it wrong, agreed or disagreed, understood or you didn't, they pushed you because they love you. And at this time, the people who really are earning this diploma, any parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle, cousin, brother, sister, godparent who helped one of these graduates cross the stage, please wave your hand and be recognized. One of, one of the greatest joys of my career has been learning about <laughs> has been learning about and experiencing you all while you also got to learn and adapt to who I am and how I do things. And one thing I can say is that Tiger Spirit is alive and well in the class of 2023. It's familiar in some ways, but it is also totally unique to your generation and your style. I believe that Tiger Spirit is exemplified in how you meet challenges even the challenge of being under new leadership in your senior year. There were some growing pains, but I feel like for every setback, you all came back more resilient, more eager to progress and move forward. Class of 2023, your leadership, along with the guidance of our amazing faculty and staff, has led to many accomplishments and accolades, not only for yourselves and your class, but for this school and this community as a whole. And that you are to be celebrated and you will be etched in history forever. So in only true class of 2023 fashion, at this time, class of 2023, please stand and be recognized. Let's give it up for the class of 2023. Let's make some more noise for the class of 2023. Let's keep going. Give it up for the class of 2023. This is a celebration, ladies and gentlemen. Ready, one, yeah. two, uh, three, four. Check it out. Sam Zeke on the mic. Check it out. Give me go, give me go, give me go, give me go, give me go. Yeah. I'm in a rock with it. Come on, they rock with it. Come on, they rock with it. Come on, they rock with it. Got to make some noise, though. You may be seated, class of 23. Thank you. Got to get y'all turned up a little bit. The class of 2023 is known as the GOAT class. GOAT standing for greatest of all time. Class of 2023, you surely will go down in history as one of the greatest. You see, many people equate GOAT to mean perfection. But that, in fact, is farthest from the truth. 
The true goats of our society are those who overcome adversity and come out like a champion. Those who, instead of making excuses, find a way to press forward. Like Michael Jordan, who adorned the number 23 as a basketball player. He was cut from his high school basketball team and went on to become arguably one of the greatest players of all time. Like Muhammad Ali, who was diagnosed with dyslexia and who endured a period of racism, but pressed on to become an active public speaker and one of the greatest boxers of all time. Like Cesar Chavez, who sat with unfair play and labor laws and became one of the most prolific labor leaders and civil rights activists. You class of 2023 have endured entering high school during a global pandemic and not knowing which way the world will go. Yet you pressed forward in an unknown environment and showed us how to teach you using technology. You saw the world around you change in new and different ways, and yet you still found the drive to move forward. You experienced personal losses, times of uncertainty, and periods of hope. But through it all, you endured hardship like a good soldier. You see, it is not your accomplishments alone, class of 23, that you the GOAT class it is that make you great. It is because of the challenges you have faced that have made you the greatest and collectively stronger. So strong that with you at the helm leading our school class of 23, I like to call Blanche Ely High School AAA bond rated, the highest quality of excellence. The first A in AAA bond rated stands for academics, like you heard Josiah say. With you at the helm, class of 23, we have become a designated Cambridge school, added a fire academy. In addition, as Josiah stated, we have outpaced all traditional high schools in the district on the Winter Algebra 1 FAST assessment. We excelled in eSports, adding two new teams, and won second overall for the district in SECME, sending a group of students to the National Department of Transportation bridge building competition where Blanche Ely High School won third in the entire nation in the United States. We added our sixth Distinguished NAF Academy with the Academy of Engineering with, under the direction of Mr. Levi and earned the distinction, the distinction of being a Catherine Blasick Distinguished School. You can clap in between any of these because these are all good. Most importantly, the graduation rate for this class 2023 is estimated at 94%. Blanche Ely students have been accepted into a number of colleges and institutions to include the Florida A&M University, Oregon State University, Akron University, Howard University, Broward College, Columbia, the University of Florida, Florida State University, Purdue, and the Armed Forces with funding totaling over $1 million in value. Will all of our young men, yeah, will all of our young men going to the United States Armed Forces please stand and be recognized at this time from our graduating class? Also, if there are any veterans and or active duty military, please stand, we thank you for your service. In athletics, Blanche Ely High School had a historic, perfect season, 10-0, and, and won a district championship. We added baseball to our opportunities, as Josiah mentioned, and won district championships in boys soccer and girls basketball, just one game short of a state championship. Blanche Ely High School most notably beat the Dillard Panthers, not once, but twice. We are the 2023 Soul Bowl champions, even if they don't want to send the trophy, it's okay. In activities and the arts, the Blanche Ely Band program has earned multiple superior ratings under the direction of Mr. Whistler J. Elias, and marching band, concert band, and jazz band. Blanche Ely students have partnered with the American Cancer Society to host an on-site Relay for Life event for survivors with contributions totaling over $1,000. Blanche Ely High School has been recognized by the College Board as a distinguished school in the nation for providing females with opportunities in computer science and technology. This is just a snapshot of the class of 2023 and how you all have led with excellence. When I think back on this class in this year, I'll not only remember you as leaders, academicians, and scholars, but also sometimes as comedians. But most of all, as students who persevere, and I hope that you will continue to nurture that mentality in all your future endeavors moving forward. If I had to leave the graduating class of 23 with any advice, it would be the following. Number one, always talk to people, not about people. Clear, open, honest, direct communication with people 
solve most problems. Choose to operate in peace and integrity. Number two, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Perspective is one of the most important things you will need to master throughout this journey called life. Number three is a positive attitude. No one will ever want to help you with a negative attitude. Bees swarm to honey. Self-awareness and emotional intelligence is something that you must master and that you must cultivate. Always expect the worst is number four because the worst will never happen. There is no sense in worrying. Have faith and understanding that in the grand scheme of life, everything always works out. Stay focused, stay positive, and stay praying. Gratitude is number five. Always appreciate where you are and what you have. Always remember that there is someone at any given moment that wishes to have the opportunities that you have. Never forget one of the most underrated blessings is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night. And I ask that when you make it to your next destination and you keep these words with you, and always remember it doesn't hurt to provide someone with a word or more to uplift your fellow man or woman. But remember, you are no help to anyone if you cannot ever first help yourself. So Deja Thomas told me, Mr. Williams, please make sure you keep this short so we don't have long to go. So y'all know y'all going on Twitter. So I'm going to turn around at this time. Thank you, class of 2023. There's no coincidence. We are all in this moment. Through this commencement, we are connected forever. Congratulations. Good afternoon, everyone. I have the absolute honor of introducing our next speaker, who most of the graduating class is familiar with, Mr. Malcolm Spence. <laughs> Mr. Spence has worked in education for 31 years, and of those 31 years, he has served Blanche Ely High School for 16 of those years. He began his career as a language arts teacher at Boyd H. Anderson High School, and it, was, <laughs> and it was during that time that he discovered his passion for assisting student athletes obtain admissions to colleges and universities. As a product of Broward County Public Schools and a two-time Sports Hall of Famer, Mr. Spence knows what it takes for students to have the opportunities that will further their academic and athletics career as he earned his bachelor's from West Virginia State University and his master's from Nova Southeastern University. When Mr. Spence is not assisting the students at Blanche Ely High School, he's serving the community in other ways. He is an active member of the Fort Lauderdale alumni chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity and the Spence Family Foundation. Mr. Spence, if you'll please join us at the podium. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for that introduction, Ms. Scott. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be standing in front of you this evening as your administrator. I truly enjoy my job because of you. Not everyone has a chance to mold young adults into productive members of society on a yearly basis, and for this, I am truly grateful. At our first assembly, I asked you, what quality of life do you want to live? and we discussed the importance of an education. This evening, I will not take up much of your time. However, I would like to briefly speak on living your life with a purpose. One of my favorite quotes is, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. And I'll repeat that again. The purpose of life is a life of purpose. Today, I'm challenging you to find your purpose. Find your purpose. There are approximately 7.7 .7 billion people in the world and only one you. You were designed with a purpose. You were born with a purpose. And you were created with a purpose. 
Over the next few years, it is your responsibility and your mission to find what you were created to do and be. Develop your purpose. As you get older, you will see the big picture. There will be some challenges, but do not be discouraged as the average adult changes their careers at least two to three times in a lifespan. However, you will find your purpose, and when you do, work hard at your craft and do whatever it takes to be the best you can be. The next thing I want you to do is disperse your purpose. Never forget where you came from. It is your duty to pass on your wisdom, your knowledge, experience to the younger generation and create a legacy for you and your family. Come back and give back to your community, to your church, to your daycare, to your park, to your elementary school, to your middle school, and of course, Blanche Ely High School. Find your purpose. It could be an administrator, teacher, lawyer, doctor, nurse, engineer, law enforcement, paramedic, medical field, business owner, pastor, performer, or professional athlete. But whatever that is, it is your duty and responsibility to find it. After today, you will not hear or listen to Mr. Spence anymore, and I know some of you are happy. <laughs> However, I am so proud of what you've accomplished and what you will accomplish in the years to, be, to come because you are and will always be a Blanche Ely Tiger. So with that being said, I would like to close out by saying good afternoon, Tiger family. This is Mr. Spence with your update for the day of June 3rd. 2023. Class of 2023, we ate and we out. Congratulations. Okay, greetings, greetings, Tiger family. I would like to take this moment to recognize the academic accomplishments of Blanche Ely's class of 2023. This year's graduating class is comprised of over 400 graduates. Today, today is one of two of my favorite days because as your ninth grade assistant principal, I have ushered you in, gave you a bit of tough love, and now I get to see you as you reach this milestone. Each and every one of you have done a great job of overcoming so many challenges. You have done a great job of staying focused. You have done a great job of putting your academics first, and therefore you have earned your seat today at graduation. Amongst our graduates, we have 268 industry certification completers and 67 magnet program completers. Will those students please stand to be recognized at this time? Excellent job. The gold cord, the gold honor cord is awarded to students who have earned an overall weighted grade point average of 3.75 or higher. We have 87 students who have received variations of the academic gold honor cord. If you have received a gold honor cord, please stand and be recognized at this time. The silver cord is awarded to students who have performed over 250 hours of community service. This year, 72 students have earned the silver cord. If you have earned your silver cord, please stand at this time and be recognized.
We also would like to acknowledge the 15 National Honor Society students in this graduating class. National Honor Society students, please stand at this time. And finally, we would like to recognize all of the students that comprise the top the academic top 10% in the class of 2023. You have the distinguished pleasure of being able to seat, be seated tonight in the front rows. Members of the top 10%, you have earned it, so please stand and be recognized. Congratulations to all of you for your academic excellence here at Blanche Ely High School. Continue to strive for excellence in all that you do. At this time, Ms. McGirt, please come to the podium. Good afternoon, Tigers, families, and friends. Hats off to you, class of 2023. Blanche Ely High School has announced Azalea Richard as the class of 2023 salutorian. Uh, respectively, Azalea ranks number two in the class with a weighted GPA of 4.9. While attending Blanche Ely these past four years, she has participated on the girls' soccer team, was a member of the National Honor Society, Women of Tomorrow, Mentoring Tomorrow's Leaders, SGA, Agents of Change, and last but certainly not least, she served as an outstanding member of Ladies of <laughs> that part. Azalea also attended Broward College and succeeded in courses such as medical terminology, general psychology, criminal justice, and national government. I asked her, what advice would you leave to an incoming student? Her answer was, I would tell them to stay on top of their education, be organized, take AP and dual enrollment classes if you can handle it. Her motto is always choose peace over violence. Her future plans are to attend <coughs> FAMU and become a cybersecurity specialist. We would like to acknowledge her parents for their hard work and guiding assisting Azalea through her educational journey. Parents, can you please stand? Parents are Crystal Brewery and Ronnie Wichert. Thank you. Let's please welcome Blanche Eady Class of 2023 Salutarian Azalea Wichert. Thank you, Ms. McGirt. Good afternoon, parents teachers, staff, and fellow 2023 graduates. My name is Azalea Wichard and I'm your salutatorian. I first wanna say congratulations to all of you. The moment we have been waiting for is finally here, and I don't know about you, but I'm awfully excited to walk this stage tonight. We have accomplished so much in these last four years, whether we have realized it or not. And for that, I am proud of all of you. And I hope you are proud of yourselves too. We have achieved so much just by being in this room tonight surrounded by our loved ones who believed in us, whether that be parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, or friends. <laughs> I want to thank my parents and my family for their encouragement throughout my journey, which has brought me to this point. From the first day of my freshman year at Blanche Ely to this very moment, I've changed so much as a person. I am proud that it has allowed me to become the person I am tonight, passionate, responsible, and ambitious. Speaking on this stage tonight, I have proven that to myself, as I have never spoken in front of a crowd of this size, especially with my fear of public speaking. Though I am nervous as I present this speech, thinking of the good memories I have had at Ely has helped me very much. One of the best memories that I've had at Ely was joining the Ladies of Intrigue Step Team my freshman year. <laughs> joining LOI has allowed me to express myself through performance, which I enjoyed. Being on a step team was thrilling, especially when preparing for step shows. 
However, it was also quite painful because doing stunts was not for the weak. While step was fun, it was also deep. It allowed me to find a sisterhood in my peers, whether my, they were my seniors or incoming freshmen like me. Flash forward to the present, I am no longer on the step team, but I have found something that will never go away, sisterhood. Moreover, while attending Ely, I have met amazing mentors such as Mrs. McGirt and Mr. Berger who have helped me navigate high school. I was also fortunate enough to make wonderful friendships that I'm sure will transcend high school. As I was scrolling through the internet in hope of inspiration for this speech, I came across a quote that I think really reflects this moment. One day, all of us will get separated from each other. We will miss our conversations about everything and nothing and the dreams we had. Days, months, and years will pass until this contact becomes rare. One day, our children will see our pictures and ask, who are these people? And we will smile with invisible tears because the heart is touched with a strong word and you will say, it was them I had the best days of my life with. After tonight, we will begin to utter the words, when I was in high school or when I was a senior, which isn't bad, just different, and will probably take some adjusting to as we grow up. For, but for tonight, let's just enjoy our last moments as seniors. The class of 23 has really seen unique challenges, but we made it. As I sign off talking about all the good parts of graduation, I want to include that though we are finally moving on, there will be parts of us that will miss the good times, our friends, and all the memories we have made at Ely, good or bad. But we must not dwell on those memories as they will always be there. And so will your friends if that bond is unbreakable. Life has just begun and there will be an infinite number of opportunities as you navigate life after high school. May life only get better from here. Congratulations, class of 2023. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the valedictorian for the Blanche Ely High School graduating class of 2023. Our valedictorian has taken 30 honors level courses and countless advanced placement courses, earned 10 dual enrollment credits. Through the challenges of a rigorous academic profile, this scholar maintained a 5.1 grade point average. She, she spent most of her senior year at Broward College as an early admission student. In addition to academics, Ariana's leadership and participation in the National Honor Society, Ely Scholars Association, Student Government Association and students working against tobacco contributed to her well-rounded high school experience. When asked what she likes to do for fun, she said she likes to read. Her friends would describe her as independent, reserved, and social enough to get things done. While her career choices have changed along the way, from marine biology and getting her boater's license, to our distinguished nursing program, she finally realized she loves money. Our valedictorian will be taking her talent to Florida State University to major in finance. There is no doubt she will continue to achieve because she knows what she wants. Ariana said her role model is her mother. Would the proud parents, siblings, and family members of our valedictorian please rise and be recognized? Thank you. Without further ado, I introduce to you the valedictorian for the class of 2023, Ms. Ariana McKenzie. Thank you, Ms. Lopez, for the amazing introduction. Dear class of 2023, it is our time to walk across the stage and graduate. But first, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ariana McKenzie, and I am this year's valedictorian. The first thing I want to do is thank everyone who came to, our, came to support our graduates this evening. 
We all appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to support everyone. I also want to take a moment to thank my family to, for pushing me to become the person I am today. My mom, dad, and sister have been some of my biggest cheerleaders all these years. I am grateful for your advice and guidance all these years. Thank you for my friends. Without you, quarantine would have been horrible. You are my support system, and I would not have made it without you. I want to thank, give a special thanks to all the teachers who have supported me. Ms. Khan, Mr. Smith, Mr. Barrow, Mr. Edwards, and Ms. Spencer. You all taught me some of my favorite subjects, and I would not be here without your push towards the finish line. It is time to take the next step in our lives, but let us not forget our time here. The relationships we have made will be with us forever. During the end of our ninth grade year, COVID-19 interrupted us and changed the world forever. If you came from another school, making friends here was not easy. So for a pandemic to interrupt our lives for the next three plus years definitely wasn't cool. From March 2020, the world got shut down, school went online, and some testing got canceled. We were stuck in the house with nowhere to go. Then comes 10th grade year, and we are all online all year long. Definitely not the best for our mental health. 10th grade was supposed to be my year. I was supposed to go to all the games and all the pep rallies and so many other things to show school spirit. But it didn't happen. I was stuck in a prison of my own making with nowhere to go. So when it came time to go to 11th grade, I was excited. I can finally leave the house, but everything was different. With social distancing and masks, I felt everything would take a while to get used to. This year, I made sure to join the clubs that I couldn't join before. There weren't many pep rallies, but I made sure to go to the ones that were there. But even with all this, I still felt incomplete. Everything was a mess. Everyone was getting used to the new normal and different processes. With everyone trying to make up for lost time, we did not prepare for the future as well as we could have. Should COVID-19 not have happened, things definitely would have been different. Now comes our senior year of high school, our last years of memories and fun times before we go our separate ways. So many events were able to happen this year. Congratulations on the football team for their winning streak this year. One of my favorite memories was when we had the funeral for Dillard. It reminds me that Ely stays on top with school spirit. Senior year was also the year where I decided I wanna switch from nursing to finance. While science will forever be in my heart, things, people, and passions change. This summer, I'll be going to Florida State University and majoring in finance. I pick finance because, as Ms. said, I love money. <laughs> and there's nothing better to do than follow your dreams. One day in the future, I want to start a nonprofit organization that helps black youth with financial literacy. So many things happened these past years, and I mention all of this to say that we're still here. Despite all the changes that were made, I was still able to get my associate's degree, and I know I will continue to do so many more amazing things. To the class of 2023, I leave you with this. You are stronger than you may think, and you will do amazing things in the future, no matter where you end up. Thank you, and congrats, class of 2023. District 7 school board member, Mrs. Nora Rupert, is a former high school reading teacher, a mom of three children, all of whom attended public schools, and a tireless community and children's advocate. Mrs. Rupert was elected to the school board of Broward County in 2010 to serve District 7. She was, a, she was selected a vice chair for 2016 through 2017 and selected as chair for 2017 through 2018. Mrs. Rupert is currently serving as the president of the Greater Florida Consortium of School Boards on the Florida School Boards Association Board of Directors, as the state legislative liaison for the Broward School Board, and the Youth Education and Scholarship Committees of the Broward League of Cities. Mrs. Rupert has also been chosen as a panelist for Ruth's List and Women on the Run, where she has shared her knowledge on pressing educational issues. 
Without further ado, we welcome our school board member of District 7, Mrs. Nora Rupert. Congratulations, class of 2023. Welcome to the next part of your life, whether you choose what that means to you. Success does not occur in isolation, but with your mentors, teachers, families, friends, alongside you supporting your future. I would like to honor some very special people who have always inspired and supported our community and our great nation. If, I know we've already done this a little bit tonight, but there is absolutely no rule that we can't keep successfully uh, enhancing our, our people in the audience, right? If there are any of our students who will be joining the military, please rise and stay risen to, and get recognized for your sacrifices for both you and your family will make. Let's get, stay up. That's good. Don't go. If we have, uh oh, you gotta stay, stay standing. The rest of you guys, scoot. Okay. And if there are any students, we got that. Okay. If we have any of our ROTC instructors here today, please stand and receive the appreciation from students and staff that you deserve. Thank you. And one more. And to our active military and past warriors from all our war campaigns, we thank you for preserving our democracy. Please stand and join our other heroes and sheroes who represent the absolute best of our beautiful free country. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much and your family, we appreciate you. You may be seated, thank you. I've got a quick 10 tips, and then when I'm done, we certify the class and we start roll call. So just give me a minute, okay? Number one, find your passion. What gets you up early on a Saturday? What subject in school never felt like drudgery? Or if you're not a morning person, like I am not a morning person, I get up at seven o'clock every Friday to take English riding lessons on a horse. Why? I've always wanted to, but I get up early and I don't miss any of those lessons. So if I could find a way to do that every day of my life, I would. Um, two, learn to be bold and trust your instincts. I fed my passion to help children achieve their dreams by first volunteering as a big sister in Big Sisters and Brothers. Then I volunteered in the schools to help more children, which led to substitute teaching, being elected to the school board in a five-year period. Do I tell you all this because I want to say that I'm all that in a bag of chips? No. What I want you to know is be willing to take risks and be open to opportunities. No one ever came and tapped me on the shoulder and said, would you run for office? And if you wait for someone to tap you on your shoulder or to be bold in life, it'll never happen. You must take your own risks and make your own opportunities. Three. Do not let others define you, for you only have a set amount of time on this earth, so learn to buffer that noise around you and dance to your own beat. I thank God for my parents who instilled in me the confidence to be my own person and my childhood friends who accepted all my quirkiness with abandon. When I grew up, individuality was highly regarded and I was free to be myself and that has stuck with me. That acceptance gives you self-confidence and a foundation of strength to move forward in life. Number four, have big dreams. You can't put a large box in a small container. You can't put a large, vibrant, meaningful life in a small dream package. So dream big dreams, and you will live up to your expectations and not settle for mediocrity. Number five, get off the bench. Take initiative and get in the game. You cannot have an active role in your future if you content to get splinters, warming your seat on that bench. Competition is all around you. So wake up, jobs, homes, relationships. You have to be in the game and win the game. Number six, never, ever, ever give up, no matter what. 
Thank you. Okay. It is truly never over until you walk away and stop trying. Most people know that my husband and I adopted our three wonderful children. But what most people don't know is we went through seven adoptions for those three lovely children. So if you do the math quickly, you will fastly see four adoptions didn't work. So picture me, my husband, walking back from a hospital, empty armed, looking into a back seat with the baby seat and no baby. That was one of the lowest moments of my life as an adult. But guess what? Keep going. Because if we stopped after every failure, and there were a bunch in a row before we got our children, we wouldn't have the kids that we love so much dear today. So when I say don't give up, don't give up. Trust me on that one. Number seven, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll do the last ones fast. I know you're waiting for it and I'm losing my voice. And this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is four, four graduations and I got like eight more to go. When things don't go your way, and trust me, you will not win at all things all the time in setbacks. In life, these things that go wrong or off course are often the very things that put you in the direction that you're meant to be. Number eight, don't wait for things to be perfect to move forward. No one is perfect. And if you wait for someone, or you have to wait for what you think is perceived to be the perfect time, opportunities are already going to be gone. Nine, be bold, be confident, and use your creativity and imagination. Have the nerve to be that one dissenting voice in the room, or the first person that volunteers. Ask questions, suggest solutions. Mavericks have built this beautiful country that we live in, and Mavericks will always lead the force to change the world and make it a better democratic place. And finally, 10, give back and be willing to give someone a hand up, not a handout, but teach someone a skill so they can support themselves. You give willingly of your time and your talents to someone who needs it, because in giving so selflessly, you bless not only those around you, but yourself. And finally, remember, where you came from. Broward County would love to have you come back and use your new skills and talents to make a better Broward County. Personally, I hope many of you come back as new educators to help mold the lives of future generations. For as Robert Frost once said, I am not a teacher, but an awakener. Congratulations, class of 2023. Make us proud. Miss Rupert, as principal of Blanche Ely High School, I am addressing you in your official capacity as a member of the school board of Broward County, Florida. I certify that those persons whose names will be announced have successfully completed the course of study as prescribed by the Florida State Board of Education and the school board of Broward County, Florida. Miss Rupert, I present to you for graduation the class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I 
have to say a sentence. One sentence. Give me a break. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Williams. On behalf of the School Board of Broward County, Florida, I certify that these students have met all the requirements of the School Board and the State of Florida for graduation from high school. Go Tigers! Tonight's roll, call will, tonight's roll call will be completed by faculty members Ms. Linda Cal Sander, Mr. Stephen Wallison, and Ms. Latoya Wright. As the graduates make their way to the stage, the Blanchile High School Band will perform a musical selection. Congratulations. Ariana McKenzie. Azalea Wichard. Laisa Sinaitis. Italia Plummer. Jennifer Valeris. Justin Walker. Canise Black. Michaela Williams.
Josias Pierre Jr. Maludni Marcier. Caleb Vickers. Shedna Voltaire. Taisha Fields. Malinska Favreas. Tanisha Alexandre. Angie Avrilin. Chantel Silburn. Michelle Pierre Louis. Darlinda Saint Cyr. Anani Contreras. Even Asilian. Gabrielle Nonor. What's your name? Don Demier. Ruth Bellany. Shanela Josephs. David McFadden. Omari Smith. Omari Smith. Matthew Marshall Jr. Sierra Roberts. Jayla Jones. Gina Steffa. Christian Edwards. Jordan Kelly. Nancy Pierre Jean. Ruth Janika Pierre Luce. Kamaya Williams. Ashaki Allen. Stacy Nelson. Makaya Shaw. Amari Wright. Jesse Valmius. Whitney Asin. Oh, it's Whitney Asin. Whitney Asim. Faith Axius. Faith Axius. David Aguirre. Naomi Alsenbert. Naomi Alsenbert. Naisha Alsim, you know my name. Naisha Alsim. Juliana Alexis. Juliana Alexis. Craig Allen. Craig Allen. 
Caroline Anadon. Jewel Andrews. Donna Marie Anglin. Cheyenne Apollon. Walter Aragon. Walter Aragon. Oscar Ariano. Oscar Ariano. Taylor Artie. Taylor Artie. Angel Asensio. Wait, 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 wait. Tosif Ashraf. Irvins August. Kashmir Bailey. Janaya Baker. Alexis Balthazar. Inesia Baptiste. Ashley Battle. Brian Besserell. Kimora Bell. Shael Benius. Carlos Benitez. Camille Benesser. Jakaya Bentley. Jenna Bonneville. Serenity Booker. Jakira Bowens. Tanisha Bowen. Shamaya Bratu. Gino Brave. Samaya Bradur. Asia Brooks. Saraya Brown. Aaron Brown, Maya Brutus, Crystal Bryan, Mercedes Bryant, Desaria Bronman, Hazel Bronside, Zachariah Butler Jr. Candice Byron, Alvant Byron, Carlos Cadero, Sojina Kali, Armari Donnell Campbell, Andrea Carranza, Bernie Carroll. Armarion Carswell, Brandon Castillo, Ayana Charles, Giovanni Charles, Ashley Charles, Arlene Charles, McKinley Charles. Jason Charleston, Karen Chavez, Jacqueline Chavez, Liliana Chavez, Tracy Cherry, Jay Chirino, 
Xavier Clark. Nashika Clark. Aaliyah Classius. Louis Clemenston. Jeremy Clergis. Galvin Carlos. Ashanti Collins. Talisha Collins. Myalinda Compare. Philip Conte. Renisha Cook. Crystal Cooper. Christian Cornish. Jesus Coronado. Anastasia Cortez. Hannah Cotterell. Howard Cruz. Imani Cummings. Joshua Daniel. Sapphire, darling. Luminan Dauphine. Yamalat Davalos. Joel Delgado. Hector Delgado. Alejandro Delgado. Kimora Dennis. Ms. Shadea Denton. Tanya Deras. Joshua Diaz. Amber Dillard. Umberto Dorismond. Ruth Dosis. Sky Dryden. Juliana Duclairville. Somalia Dumas. Sean Duncan. Deja and Durant. Jessica Edward. Angelo Eliza. Jaden Emil. Tanisha Emil. Amaya Estaba. Justin Flowers. Ariama Ford. Sierra Fuller. Kirsten Fuller. Lucia Gagliuffi. Simone Gallagher. Yadira. 
Yadira Garcia. Chevelle Gale. Derek Fuertes. Samira Fuentes. Desi Frazier Jr. Unaya Franklin. Alexia Lassen. Marcus Frage. Jim Lynn Ulsaint. Henry Ford the Fourth. Leilani Foster. Antoine Folks Jr. Mark Etienne. Destiny Etienne. Destiny Etienne. Wadley Eugene. Gustavo Angelista. Rudolin Xavier. Sophie Exame. Jefferson Exame. Javia Farley. Sharnika Faustin. Camilla Ferguson. Stella Alvis. Jayla Fields. Janalis Figueroa. Angeline Florinon. Alexandra Flores. Marty Flowers. Aria Glover. Robert Glover, Kinsey Godoy, Jaden Gomez, Andre Gomez, Michael Gordon, Trevon Gordon, Nari Gordet. Biavion Green. <laughs> Noah Garan. Yeah. Xavier Gunn. Yeah. Travion Gilbert. Yeah. Diamond Gillard. Yeah. Stephanie Glossy. Stefan Glossy. Lori Gidelon. Cindiana Germain. Juan Gill Jr. Rodney Johnson. Brianna Italia Johnson. Arthur Johnson. Javanis Johnson. Jameer Jones. Keyshawn Jones. Jasmine Andrea Jones. Paris Jones. Ready? 
Ja'Cory, the GOAT, Jones. Michaela Jordine. Adania Joseph. Romaines Joseph. Would Ryan Joseph. Even Joseph. Hey Sue. Josie, a.k.a. Cheese. <laughs> Jaina Julian. Elon Julian. Anaya Porter. Antoine Porter. Micah Predellis. Chris Freeville. Reagan. Romari Reagan. Richard Regis. Rochelle Regis. Tyra Reed. Scott Remy, Cedric Roberson Jr., my favorite, Larry Robinson, Victoria Robinson, Nabat Rodriguez. Dionis Rodriguez. <laughs> Rhaenyra Ruby. Diana Rush. Layla Rushing. Vanya De Castro Sakataco. Quirino Sanchez. Giancarlo Sanchez. Patricia Santiago. Keon Johnson. Brianna Johnson. Azara Johnson. Mackenzie June. Samantha Jerome. Lukey Jean Marie. His name? Ignae Jean Pierre. <laughs> Lewinsky Jean Luis. Alejandro Jean Baptiste. Chelsea Senatus. Dudley Sieves. Demetrius Seawright. Kanaya Sawyer. Kanaya Saunders. Debia Saucedo. Jade Santizo Perez. Brianna Lorfeld. Giuliano Lomar. Lynn Lindor. 
Cameron Leon. Jalea Lemon. Carter Lawrence. Claude King. Tashe Key. Kiana Kelly. David Hurst. Tanaya Kirst. Tanaya Kirst. Shamaya Julmis. Duran Pettyholm. Paris Hadley. Brianna Hall. Caitlin Harden, Roscoe Harris, Michael Habersham, Mikkel Habersham, Davion Philpot, Janela Headley. Brianna Pierre, Carlos Pierre Green, Donley Pierre, Monique Pierre Paul, Terzia Haley, Armand Piper. Jamie Henley, Chester Henriquez, Deshaya Holly, Harlem Howard, Navan Howard. Cameron Izumi. Leslie Jacinto. Leslie. Kelly Jean. Sincere Jean. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Dorian Jean. What's your name? Michael? Yeah. Okay. Jean Scotty. Michael. Angie, Angie Zalea. Jaden Wright. Jaden Wright. Christian Williams. Christian Williams. Brianna White. Darren Webb. Darren Webb. Cortavia Westbrook. Tierra Ward. Cedric Ward. Brenda Zephyr. Gaia Philomene. Samson Lormias. Jason Lornes. Avery Lewis. Avery Lewis. Tyler Lewis. Marthy Luzon. Paris Love. Nicholas Mack. Kiana Mallory. Kiana Mallory. Xavier Marshall. Joshua Matthew. I 
want you to get your spotlight. Tierra McLeod. Cortez McLeod. Antonio McCray. McCray Jr. Antonio Denard McCray Jr. Malura Matama. Alyssa McIntosh. Mercy McLemore. Mercy McLemore. Jason McNabb. Javon McNabb. What is that, McNeil? Trent McNeil. Jatsika Mehu. Samantha Michelle. Michaela Millwood. Zaria Mims. Jalen Mitchell. Larry S. Nimoy. The one and only Aka Mansion. Rolf Mondestein. Amy Munoz. Yashua Myers. Chris Neely. Angelia Negron. Layla Newville. Bianca Noel. Rowdley Noel. Laura Ortuno. Kiara Peoples, LeBron Pete, Raquan Pericles, Jose Guadalupe Serrano, Samaria Sylvester, Tara Lynn Simone. Janaya Sims. Shamaya Singletary. Sabria. Correction, Jabria Smith. Hannah Smith. Lindsay Smith. Jayana Smith. Sierra Solis. Brianna St. Fleury. Jamie Stewart. Martavius Stoke. Jada. Jada Strickland. Malik Stubbs. Tyla Tabor. Christopher Rodriguez. Jontasha Telfair. Shania Terry. Deja, Deja Renee Alexiana Thomas. 
Deja Renee Alexiana Thomas. Nicholas Thomas. Devaris Andre Took. Alexis Thompson. Destiny Troutman. Ethan Troyer. Walder Trichta. Kenley Clergy. Ginger Rodriguez. Tiana Turnbull. Janika August. Jeffrey Valeris. Maya Valles. Jesus Valle, Jeremiah Vadreen, Adelia Villamar, Taisha Verbron, Matias Villarreal. Violan Vilnelgi. Amaja Smith. Rodney Norellis. Markayla Brown. At this time, I would like to ask my fellow graduates to please rise. It is now time. It is now time for us to change our tassels to indicate our achievement of official graduate status. Please move your tassel. It is now time for us to change our tassels to indicate our achievement of official graduate status. Please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left.
at this time. At this time, please remain standing as we sing the alma mater as a graduating class. The words can be found in your program on the screen and on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the Blanche Ely High School Class of 2023 <laughs> graduation ceremony. At this time, our graduates will exit the theater. We ask that the guests remain in place while the graduates make their exit. Once the students exit this room, they will finalize one last requirement and they will meet you in the courtyard. Graduates, please remain standing. However, look for your cue to, be make, to begin making your exit. Congratulations.